Assalamualaikum YouTube viewers. Today in this video, I am going to describe the problems based on her machine operator. So in this video, the topic of discussion is that the kinetic energy operator Tx is a Hermitian operator. So in this video, we will cover this topic. So first of all, in order to prove this, first of all, you need to take two functions. Okay, for example, if I have two eigenfunctions psi and phi, okay, and I have an operator A which is Hermitian, an operator A which is a Hermitian operator. So my general equation will become from negative infinity to positive infinity psi hysteric A operator being applied on phi d tau is equal to from negative infinity to positive infinity phi and my operator A being applied on psi overall hysteric d tau. Okay, so this is the condition for Hermitian operator that if my operator A is applied on phi, then the answer should be equal to the answer when which I get when my operator A is being applied on psi hysteric. Okay, so now first of all, what you need to do is just write the equation for total energy for, for the kinetic energy. Okay, so writing the equation for kinetic energy, the operator A has been we have to take operator A to be equal to kinetic energy operator. The kinetic energy operator has a value of minus h square over 2m d square over dx square. Okay, so this was this is the value of the kinetic energy operator and if i take the complex conjugate of this value then the complex conjugate will also be the same since this uh, kinetic energy operator does not contain any iota okay this the kinetic energy operator does not contain any imaginary value so the complex conjugate of this operator should also be the same as that of the kinetic energy operator so the next thing that we i'm going to do is just plug in the value of tx here in, in place of operators okay so from negative infinity to positive infinity okay i have psi hysteric okay i have psi hysteric operator a is changed into t of x t of x being applied on phi since it is in the x direction so i'm going to take dx here okay is equal to um, from negative infinity to positive infinity phi and operator a change to tx and applied on psi overall hysteric d of x okay so what i need to do is just to prove this uh, this left hand side of the equation to be equal to right hand side of the equation okay so taking the left hand side of the equation taking the left hand side of the equation what does the left hand side of the equation says the left hand side of the equation has from negative infinity to positive infinity okay psi hysteric t x applied on phi d x okay so now i'm going to plug in the value of t x here that says minus infinity to positive infinity psi hysteric in place of tx i am going to write minus h square over 2m minus h square over 2m d square over dx square okay the next thing is phi phi and d of x okay so the next thing that i'm going to do is as you know that h square over 2m is a constant so i will take it out of the integration so minus h square over 2m goes out of the integration and the rest of the equation become minus infinity to positive infinity psi hysteric d square phi over dx square into dx so what i need to do next is just to break up this derivative here into two derivatives since it is a scale so i can break it into two derivatives that should say from negative infinity to positive infinity integration um psi hysteric and this breaks up into d over dx d over d phi over dx into dx okay so next thing that i'm going to do is to apply the for the formula the rule of integration by parts integration by parts so applying the rule of integration by parts that says that if i have an integration u dv then it will be equal to u multiplied by v minus v multiplied by d of u okay so here i can take u to be equal to here i can take u to be equal to psi hysteric u to be equal to psi 
hysteric and I can take v to be equal to d phi over dx. So I am taking v to be equal to d phi over d of x. Okay, so here I am going to now apply this rule in this part of the equation here. So applying it here, what will the answer become? It will just like be this is equal to this minus s square over 2m is still out of the integration so it has no effect on the whole equation from now i am going to apply the integration on this part here so i'm just repeating this value here okay d over dx d phi over dx dx okay i have just written this value here and now i am going to apply this rule integration by parts here okay so minus h square over 2m the first part is u into v the first part is u into v so u is psi hysteric so here comes psi hysteric and the v v part is d phi over dx d phi over dx since i have integration from minus infinity to positive infinity so here is minus infinity to positive infinity the next thing that i'm going to write is minus so here is the minus the integration from minus infinity to positive infinity the next thing is v so i'm going to write d phi over dx and in place of du i'm going to write derivative of u means derivative of psi hysteric over dx and here comes the derivative of integration dx okay so the next thing is the as you know that this minus s square is being multiplied by the whole equation so here is the bigger bracket okay so minus s square over 2m as you know that my wave function becomes zero from minus infinity to positive infinity as you know that uh, the wave function does not exist at infinity so this part of the equation becomes equal to zero okay so i have uh, written it to be like zero minus and uh, uh, here this part is just the same from minus infinity to positive infinity d phi over dx d psi hysteric over dx into dx okay so as you know that this zero is consumed up so minus here and this minus here minus and minus become plus okay so my answer becomes h square over 2m integration minus infinity to positive infinity d phi over dx d psi hysteric divided by dx into dx okay now i am going to apply the integration by parts again here okay on applying the integration by parts integration by parts the formula for integration by parts as you know is u dv is equal to uv minus integration v du okay and the values that i'm going to take is in place of u now i am going to take value to be equal to phi i'm going to take u uh, here i'm going to take u to be equal to phi and i'm going to take v to be equal to d psi hysteric over d x okay so in place of v i am going to use d psi hysteric over dx in place of v i am going to use d psi hysteric over dx and in place of u i am going to use uh, phi so the next thing that i am going to do is so i am just gonna put this behind somewhere up okay so now here as you can see that i have the integration u dv is equal to u v minus integration v du so what i'm going to do is just to apply this here u into v the u is phi so i'm going to write phi and v here is d psi hysteric over d x and i have a range from minus infinity to positive infinity okay first of all i need to write h square over 2m h square over 2m okay and there is a is equal to since h square over 2m h square over 2m and the next thing is i am going to apply this this integration by parts rule here so first part is uv so i have written uv from negative infinity to positive infinity the next part is minus so here is the minus the next part is integration here is the integration the next part is v the v is equal to d psi hysteric over dx and the next part is du the u here is phi so d phi over dx into dx okay as you know again that this part this term will become equal to zero okay 
and since s square root of m is multiplied by whole equation so i need to use a bigger bracket here so here is my bigger bracket so next thing that you know is this part of the equation is equal to zero so this part becomes equal to zero the rest of the part is from negative infinity to positive infinity here uh, the rest part is the same from negative infinity to positive infinity d psi hysteric over dx d phi over dx into dx okay so this part since zero is neglected so the s square over 2m uh, this s square over 2m with minus becomes minus s square over 2m uh, okay this minus with this minus this part becomes minus s square over 2m okay so the next thing that i'm going to do is write just minus s square over 2m minus infinity to positive infinity d psi hysteric over dx d phi over dx into dx okay so next thing that i'm going to do is just to combine the derivatives on combining the derivatives i can get an answer equal to from negative infinity to positive infinity phi d square over dx square psi hysteric d of x okay so now i'm going to plug in this value here so from negative infinity to positive infinity from negative infinity to positive infinity here is the phi okay this minus s square i'm going to write it with this so minus s square over 2m d square over dx square and here is psi hysteric d of x okay so next thing that i can do is the next thing I can do is, as you know, that this part here is equal to the total kinetic energy minus infinity to positive infinity phi, and I can write it to be equal to total energies operator, and along with psi, I can write it as psi hysteric d of x. Okay, so as you can see, that this part of the equation here is the right hand side of the equation here. Okay, as you can see, that I have proved this one to be equal to this one okay first of all what i did was taking the left hand side of the equation by taking the left hand side of the equation and applying the integration by parts and all of the method i have taken an answer to be equal to from negative infinity to phi tx psi hysteric dx so so as you can see that this part this right hand side is equal to here okay since the left hand side becomes equal to the right hand side i can say that my example here is hence proved okay so this was all for today's video inshallah see you in the next video